Hello guys, welcome by this new tutorial. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this. I think you didn't get that pretty well, so let's watch it again. We're going to create this. Wow, that was easy, right? You might think that I created three pictures and paste it all together in an editing program. I didn't do that. I used Cinema 4D and Cinema 4D only. So, yeah, let's uh, create the scene. This is what your scene eventually is going to look like. You have three cameras, three letters. I just used one text object so you can really see I'm not changing the text as well I'm just using one text spline and I extruded it and there's just a lot of spaces between here and well basically of three cameras and of one object that you might not know or might know and if you know it then this tutorial doesn't have any use but we're gonna use stage to use multiple cameras in one project. So I'm going to teach you that today and yeah, so let's get on with it. So here we are. I have just my ABC scene. I deleted the cameras and the stage. Well basically what we're going to do is we're going to import or create some cameras. So let's do this. Zoom in the A and Basically, whoa, I was doing a little bit different, weird, but anyways, come a little closer, and this is about good. So, we're going to import a camera, and it's always important to keep your objects list organized. So, if I have three cameras, and it's all called camera, I don't know what camera I might switch to. So always keep it organized and rename your object. So I'm going to call it camera A. So I know that this camera is pointed at A. Okay. So we are going and we're going to the B. Zoom in a little bit, not too much. This is about good. And there we go. And we're going to create another camera, I'm going to call this camera B, I'm going to zoom out a little bit again, and we're going to go to the C, I'm going to zoom in on the C, and get that a little bit right, and then import another camera, and call that camera C. Well basically we have our scene right now, we have three cameras pointed at three different letters, and well we're going to animate that using the stage you can find that under objects scene stage or you can of, of course use the light hold your mouse left mouse button and drag onto stage and let go you can do that as well and then you have stage in your objects list and that's basically our scene so Okay, so we're going to use stage to switch between those three cameras. You can do this with sky, you can do this with the foreground, you can do this with the background, and you can do this with an environment. So camera, sky, foreground, background, environment. That's what you can do with the stage. Now basically, we're going to start with the letter A because A is the first letter in the alphabet. And just to keep it simple. So, we're going to drag camera A into our camera object properties, and what we need to do is we need to keyframe our scene, or our stage, that it is camera A. So, we're going to hold control and click this tiny little circle before that little arrow. This circle. Click it, and hold control and click it, and then it will become red, and then it's good. It planted a keyframe on your timeline. Be sure to be in frame 0 by the way. If you go to frame 30, that's one second later because we're running on 30 frames a second and we have 90 frames so that's basically good. One second a letter. 
we're gonna go stage and we're gonna um, go and drag camera B into it and you guessed it well you need to keyframe that as well so hold control and click that little circle again then we're going to go to frame 60 and we're gonna drag and drop C into camera and we're gonna keyframe that as well hold control and click the little circle well that's basically switching between cameras and using that in Cinema 4D. It's really simple and if you're watching this and you might think, well, what is the use of this camera switching? I always use one camera. Well, for example, I'm going to show you a little video that I uploaded oh, about a year ago or something. Uh, the department, it's just yeah, it's an episode and uh, we worked hard on it. Anyways, if you have the time, go check it out. If you want to do it properly and good, you should have an entire shot. So what you see here, a camera on the face of person 1 and a camera on the face on person 2. Which means you need basically three cameras. And that's why I'm showing you this, is because if you always use one camera you have to render out three times the same project and use three times a different camera animation which can be pretty frustrating I mean if you can just render it at one time it's just time saving so that's why this tutorial is useful to you and yeah, well, that was basically it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, subscribe, and rate my videos. It's not rating anymore. It's thumbs up. Please do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.